Mikey. Very good. Oh, are you back? All right. You sound so, better now. Thank you. So now let's uh, prepare for the practice, telepathic practice. For that, we need to synchronize in many ways. Um, Jim, do you want to start with some sort of a blessing and then uh, ask everybody a couple of questions? So we go around the circle so people uh, hear each other's voices. That would help to synchronize. All right. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me do a blessing first. All right. Thank you, Creator God, for giving us this time to learn and understand and fellowship one with another so that we may be closer and bring light into a greater strength to bring it to the world in a better way and to understand the things that are happening in our world and outside of our world. We ask that the spiritual community be with us today. We ask that you all uh, share a like mind in thoughts and positivity so that we all may grow at a similar rate. We love you and we ask for your guidance now in all the things that we do and we praise you and thank you for your positivity and for being ever present with us and being protective to us. Thank you. Um, I suggest everyone uh, just give your names just to synchronize so we kind of can synchronize. Well, one at a time. Uh, let's start with Angie. Just say hello and say your name. Hello. Hello. My name is Angie. <laughs> and then we have, is it pronounced Eva? Eva. Eva. Yes, it's EWA, but it's Polish, that's why. Very good. Hi, Eva. <laughs> Thank you. And Hi. Alexis? Hi, my name is Alexis. And Peter? Hello, everyone. Peter, yeah. And <laughs> Omron? Hello, I'm Omron. <clears throat> and Kevin? Hello, my name is Kevin. Krillak. Hey. <laughs> Suzanne, is it pronounced Susan or Suzanne? Oh, she can't hear us. Oh, she can. Oh, maybe she cannot speak. Maybe she can hear, but not speak. I think it's Suzanne, but I don't think she can. can does she have no uh, voice control? And then we have phone phone person. Who's on the phone? I don't know. Oh, no, I don't know. You see 1416, uh, something like that. Oh, they disappeared. <laughs> All right. Well, we heard everybody's voices that's here except for, for Suzanne. So, and how do you want to proceed? Okay. Um, I will, guys, give you in a minute... Um, uh, half of you I will give you I will divide it into two groups and to half of you I will give you the um, words and the words would be something tangible which you can touch feel with a specific vibration and, and meaning so it would be something easy to transmit so that would be a transmittal team and the other team will be receivers and receivers are uh, make one or more guesses up to three guesses for each time we will ask for a word we'll be transmitting one word in a time for a minute so we'll have a minute to get your uh, receive to receive like a word but you can do three different guesses if you like uh you know three different tries for every for each word and then you can just pick it up and we'll do it again each time it will like be like one minute for a word uh, but before we do that, I need to type these words and um, 
and then I'll give them to you. Now, tell me which ones of you can access the chat. Can you guys access the chat? All of us. Uh, yes. <clears throat> I can't read it. Right. So Jim is the receiving team then. Oh, super. Okay. So we will pick some of you in the chat and I will give you the words in, in a minute. Jim, for now, just give us like five minute introduction, like how to tune into the telepathy and okay. use, use a certain chakra and certain color and maybe some symbols to tune us into the same, same wavelength. Okay. Well, for me, when I become, when I become telepathic, because I'm not always telepathic, I tune into the third eye and the heart together, which is the indigo and the, the green. And they work together because telepathy starts with some species in the heart and with some species in the third eye. The difference is that uh, after you become uh, telepathic in your species, sometimes the heart's not involved, just the psychic area. But I like to think that they involve it to some extent still uh, because they're to be kind and everything, but you don't need the heart as much after you become purely psychic. But for humans, I believe we start with the heart chakra connected to the psyche. Does that make sense to you? So that we can feel what's going on and to sense the other person because our next step in evolution is to become telepathic in the sense that we'll be able to sense each other in a greater way. What, if that means that we're going to be able to speak to each other or if we're going to be able to sense each other's emotions, I'm not exactly sure what they have in mind for us exactly, but because it's still a ways out there. But I get the impression that we're going to be able to sense each other's emotions and be able to say hello and feel what the other one is feeling that day or sense what they are, are feeling or even thinking maybe to a certain extent, but nothing very in depth. I wouldn't think that it would be like you sentences or anything like that, not to start with, but um, it would be something of a, an impression. Does that make sense to you? And does anybody have that already? There, I get, I get like, feelings from people. Yes. Like, like that's, I believe like that. I think a lot of people do. And I think that's em part of the empathic part where you feel the, the emotions of other people. The telepathy is to be able to put them in a greater sensitivity of, uh, of language almost, but not yet speaking. Do you understand what I mean? More like they're feeling sad and I think they're saying, I need help. Or they're feeling happy and they're saying hello. So, something like that. Uh, but you see, I'm not that good at tele telepathy yet any either. I'm, my best feature is channeling. <laughs> But um, I am trying to work on my telepathy, but you see, they, they are improving it with time, and I'm much better with telepathy with aliens because they have a different kind of energy, and that's the kind of energy I'm really used to. I'm used to spiritual and alien energy, and I'm not used to uh, like having uh, dead spirit energy around too often, so that would be more of a human energy. So I'm working on the human energy aspect of it. Is there any questions? I have a question actually, because I, am I can't hear you. Eva, I am big time empath, and I had some experiences of receiving telepathy, but I, I don't, I, don't think I've ever succeeded with actually sending. Uh, the thing is, sometimes you don't even know if you're sending or not. If the other person doesn't react, then you assume that you're not sending. But there are some people that do still send out as part of who they are, 
energies that are telepathic or are energetic psychically, but a lot of people are not in the uh, realm yet to accept them. So that it may not be that you're not sending out this signal. It may be that they are not yet sensitive enough to hear it. So um, do you feel like maybe there is energy coming from you at times? See, I don't really... Okay, I had one telepathic experience, which was absolutely amazing. It was actually sent to me by Drunvalo Melchizedek. And he talked to me like he would be just in front of me. And I talked back. I was also sending just images to him, not only talking like, like person to a person, but I never could do something like that with anybody else, you know? But with him, he initiated that. And it was like, again, like he would be just in front of me. There was no any barriers. And again, at one point he asked me a question. I saw an image as an answer and I know he saw that image too. So I, know I am telepathic, but it's like, I don't feel I have any control really personal over it. Well, that was pretty much control right there. If you if yeah. you think about it, you um, you answered the question, and that was control because it you you answered it correctly. If the answer was just off the wall, then perhaps you wouldn't have had any control. But to have answered the questions properly and communicated properly, there was some control. Now remember this. You, the best time for uh, telepathy is in a relaxed state and when you feel comfortable and, and when you feel uh, that you are confident about it. So just do not put it out of your mind that there's anything going to block this or, or anything like that. And even if you're not perfect, if you're not doing it correctly, let yourself relax into this particular thought process so that you can become comfortable trying to relate one another to one another in this way. It is not that it is necessary for you to be absolutely 100% correct today. It is that you're getting yourself used to the energies that are coming from other people and going out of you. Now, is there questions about that? I think we are ready to send. So Let's do the final tune-in. What color are we tuning in? All of us. We're, we're going to be green because that's a heart color. Okay. So let's tune on the green color. Put your palm on the heart and tune into green color. Smile. Go ahead. If you are a man, put your right hand on your heart. If you are a lady, put your left hand on your heart because you're tuning into your side of the, your masculinity. And that has something to do with your telepathy as well, what you are, a man or a woman. And eventually you can be both. So, in fact, maybe both is better. So yeah. put both hands on the heart. Sure. Allah, Allah, um, um, so if you can show your face, it would help us to transmit and receive. Yeah. Uh, we have transmitting team consisting of me, Krelak, Kevin, Peter, and Omran. And we already have the, num the ten, 10 items, and we'll do one after another. So the rest of you are receiving, and if you have a pen, just write down your answers. If you don't, then just remember your answers, or you can type them in. Typing is just fine. Typing in the, in the chat box would be great. So are you guys ready? Hmm. Allah, no. Jim, are you ready? I so, yes, as I'll ever be, yes. Yay, so number <laughs> one, it is, uh, and all of them are tangible things which have a certain vibration which you can touch or you can uh, at least, uh, yeah, all of them you can touch. 
of different natures and types and sizes. But number one is the first thing which you can touch and it has a vibration and we're sending it to you. Uh, it would be one word. Allah and you have a minute to get to guess. And I'm sending and we the, the team is sending one one thing which is number one. Are you sending a word or an image? Both. Because some people will be able to see a word and some people will sense images. I see the word in front of me, I'm sending the word. I also have an image which I can easily perceive and it has a very specific vibration which is very easy to recognize. So, send it now. It's also much e easier if we, if we feel it while we send it, so they can feel it. Mm. Yes, absolutely. All right, the time is over. Um, I suggest Jim just say your answers and then collect the answers from everyone. Ask everyone for the answers. Well, it changed a couple times while I was, um, I started with a tree. It started with, as a tree and it got smaller and smaller into a small bush and then it turned into a chicken leg, but. Okay, uh, also someone else had a tree, so that's interesting. And another person had an orange, and someone had an apple, and someone had an, a cube, and some of them had a crystal. Uh, but, uh, so Jim, that's yours. Okay, uh, who's next? Let, let's say Eva, what's yours? Well, before you started saying, Eva. I started seeing orange. Okay, yeah. okay. And Turn into like feel stupid, but pencil and butterfly. Say again. Pen, orange pencil and uh -huh. a butterfly. Okay, got it. Uh, walking dog. That's Alexis. Oh, Alexis. Yes, I write uh, crystals or crystal something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. A stone. Right. Okay. Um, Peter, you are sending. Angie. Angie, what's yours? Uh, I write it down. An apple. Okay, got it. Uh, oh, now we have Alexis. Alexis? You already said. Oh, there is two Alexises? Walking dog and yeah, Alexis the same person? I think walking dog and Alexis are the same. Is that correct? No. Okay. Oh. Or maybe I have installed the uh, Zoom programming on my computer. I, I think it's something there, but... Uh, okay. okay. So you already said your answer, right? Yes. 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 Okay. Caroline? 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 Yeah, hi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I got a few different things to begin with, like a funnel type thing, and then it went on to a pencil, and then a dog, and then a tree. Wow. Okay. Uh, Omran, Omran, you're sending, and Kevin, are you sending? No, oh, Kevin is receiving, I think. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, Kevin. Yeah, Kevin, is, what is your answer? He's sending. 
He's sending. Oh, he's sending. Okay, good. All right. So the answer was, is it everybody? Yes. So the the, the thing which was we were sending was uh, chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I I want well, we to get close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can say this uh, from my practices of telepathy with others. Sometimes just don't feel bad if you get the wrong uh, answer because it is not wrong. It is you you might just tap into the minds of other ones around you, maybe humans yeah. or, or right. You know, right. aliens around you. So that is why people, most of us got got fruits. Maybe you just tap into the minds of each other. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's also timing. It's uh, you have to to get into the right time. Yes, and you. <laughs> You really have to relax and trust, you know, I, I'm not that telepathic yet either. So as you can see. And so, maybe, maybe when we are sending with our mind is messy, like you maybe read the wrong part of our, by, well, part of our mind. Yeah. There okay. could be other things you're tapping into. All right. Uh, you must be pretty sharp and say it also out loud in front of you. So it's clear. That yeah. It's same with me. Yeah. I, well, I'm going to try something different and I'm going to try tapping into one of the senders this time instead of just letting them all all the information hit me. okay let's try the second one um it will be number two the same same kind of all of all of all, all of the nine um words are um, uh tangible and have very specific vibration and this would be two word combination but it is one thing one thing which is defined by two words all right. Okay. Sending it now. Uh, sending. One minute sending. All right, the minute is over. Uh, Jim, you're first. This was an odd one. I got a parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I am, right? Yeah, I'm on a parking lot. Okay. Any more qu Any more guesses for Jim? Jim, do you have I was, one? I kept seeing a parking lot. All right. That's where you are. You're in a parking lot. <laughs> 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 right. Um, okay, Eva. I got like an image of a of a boat on the ocean, but so <laughs> what is what is what is it? Like a boat, boat. First, I saw like a pigeon, but when I thought, oh my god, I must be creating false images myself. Okay. <laughs> I was on the on the yeah. boat. I'm on the parking lot on the beach, but I don't see any any. <laughs> 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 All right, so walking dog is next. Walking dog. Walking dog. I, I will skip over, I think. Yeah. Angie? I got a candle. I saw a candle and it was a light All in right. the dark place. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Peter, you're saying Alexis? Uh, notebook. Okay, uh, Caroline, Caroline. I, I, I got um, I got orange, orange tree. All right. Oh, that's that's interesting. Orange tree. All right. It was lying here, right? Yes. Amran, Amran is yeah. sending. Kevin is. I forgot. Kevin is sending, right? And right. Grillock is sending. Okay. So, is it everybody? Yes. All right. The answer was. Pine tree. Pine. <laughs> so, four of you got three previous shots. 
and one yeah. of you was orange tree this shot so it wasn't that bad but it wasn't precise enough okay yeah just, All just right. one, one and, thing go ahead. To add wonders before you send just don't look at the other words before because they would get into your mind and maybe you will send them yes and one of them before yeah. and just because kill it before you send this I was I, looking at all 10 of them on your list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would kept, when I focused in, I saw where you were. That's, mm -hmm. that was weird. Uh -huh. That was remote viewing. <laughs> right. So I have to think of the word and not where you are. <laughs> yeah, and, and try to feel it more also. Okay, good. Yeah. It's also, uh, it's not only who receives, it's also who sends what we are sending. It's the quality of coherence of sending. Yes. Yeah, sure. All right, switching to the word number three and uh, sending it now. Allah namaha hum maha hum Om Okay, the minute is over. And I was this time I was sending to one person. So let's see how it worked. Okay, Jim, what's your answer? I I first saw a match, a match stick okay. with a red top and then it caught fire and then it turned into a pair of pliers. <laughs> <laughs> turned into what? Oh, wonderful. Turned pliers, into pliers like like a tool. Oh, tool pliers. Okay. All right. Uh, who is next? Eva. You know, it's very entertaining, actually. <laughs> okay. No. So, this, I was seeing something round, which turned into a car and went to an elephant. So, <laughs> I don't know. Round into a car and actually... Yes. I got round first, too. The top of the matchstick was round. Yeah. When I do my readings, I also see the transformations and transformation. It's easier to feel than the, the, the object. It's more truthful. Okay. Uh, next one. Uh, walking dog. Okay. Angie. I saw a branch and a little orange bird land on the branch. It tweeted twice and it went away. <laughs> I see. Alexis. I see a, a house, a home, uh -huh. and uh, in the back uh, it was like a old locomotive, you know, black one, locomotive, with, uh, well, how do I say, smoke, something like that. Uh, Jim, did you hear, I, I, I have trouble hearing, home uh, and then black what? Uh, a locomotive, a old locomotive. With, uh, oh, locomotive, smoke. it's like yes. tr the train, okay, got it. Yes. All right. Uh, Lainey? Oh, I got um, an image of the moon, looking up at the moon, and then a building with some windows, or some windows, windows, I don't know. Okay. That's what I, uh, I just wanted to comment that I was able to focus on the sand and only maybe 20 seconds after the start. I couldn't really focus on it, but after that I was pretty comfortably in that place. Anyway, um, is it... In, Oh, Susan, were you were you doing receiving? Did you get any messages? Suzanne? Suzanne? Is it everybody? I think it's all, right? I don't think Suzanne is able to talk. Okay. Is it everybody? All right. The, the answer is it was open palm. 
Open palm. Oh. That's, well, you know what? I saw fire on the match. I was thinking that, um, and first we saw a circle. Uh -huh. I don't, that's pretty interesting. Uh -huh. There's fire coming out for healing. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, it I mean, yes, sense. it's, it's, you know, you have to focus a little more. Yeah, you get yeah. the general idea, but then you have to focus on it. Okay, uh, we have still uh, more words to go, so let's go to the next word. Number four, sending it out. Allah All right, we are we are done. Um, Jim, what's yours? I got a yellow ball. All right, Eva. Well, some. Can you repeat? There was a there was a sun. Okay. And then okay. A train. Sun and the train. Sun and the train. Yep. Okay. Okay. And Jim. And Jim. As I As saw a um, glass of, of white bread with, with, with a lot of yellow, yellow butter. butter. Didn't look very nice. Can you repeat? <laughs> uh, I saw a piece of bread uh -huh. It was a lot of margarine on it, yellow margarine. Okay, got it. Oh, again, yellow. Interesting. <laughs> Sun, yellow, yellow. Okay. Um, who is next? Uh, Alexis? Yes, I saw a helicopter plane and a photo camera. Helicopter and photo camera? Helicopter plane and photo camera. And plane, okay. Laini? Oh, I, I just saw something dark. It was like a dark square. I'm not really sure. I thought it might be something to the stars in the sky. I'm not really sure. I see. Um, Suzanne, no, okay. Kevin Omran Crow. All right, is it everybody? So this time it was uh, River Nile, Nile River. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Nile River. I mean, it's very, very tangible. The Egyptian theme is very tangible, right? So it's easy yeah. to send. All right. <laughs> uh, I, I pick the ones which are like really have very specific vibrations. So number five, are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, number five. 
All right, the minute is over. Jim? I got a rainbow, but there was also a spaceship there too. Mm. What shape of the spaceship? It was sort of round, like, oh. like a UFO. All right, the saucer. All right, uh, Eva? Well, at first I got a crocodile, then pyramid, but I think it's the association with the uh -huh, uh -huh. Absolutely, yeah, I know, I know that. that. That is, yeah. All right, yeah. anything and else? Then, yeah, and then I started feeling rain, like rain. Okay. You know, and it turned into a daisy. All right. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Uh, not, not that you guessed it right, but it's it's interesting what you guessed. It's interesting. We will see later the why it's interesting. Okay. Uh, Angie. Yeah. Um, I went on story. Um, I saw a toilet, and wow. then I went into the toilet, came out on the other side, and then I was feeding pigeons. Um, seeds and then I went to climb up the tree and then there was something weird happening up there and it became like a big story wow. really, really, yeah I was I was focusing this time I was focusing on you and sending you Reiki I hope that with Reiki you would get the answer <laughs> <laughs> so it's interesting that you got so much from me all right uh, yeah. Alex, Alexis I saw a clock a wrong clock I can understand what a clock, a clock, a round clock, a round clock. Okay, a yes. round clock. That's what I was looking yes. at. Or, no, okay, that's all right. Uh, <laughs> all right, Alini. Oh, I got kind of sensations on anything. I got like um, heat on the side of my face. Uh -huh. Then I saw like a black hole in the sky, and uh -huh. then I felt a lot of healing, um, and got the word joy, but I felt a lot of healing. So. Wow. I was sending the word in Reiki, so that could be it. All right. Um, anybody else? Uh, anybody else? That's it. Okay. So the, the word was cucumber. Oh, wow. It was very easy to send. It was very easy to focus. It was crunchy, tangible, sexy. Right. So <laughs> it was very, very specific. Christine, so we are playing the game. There is a team of senders and there is a team of receivers, so you will be a receiver. So we're sending something tangible and uh, which has a shape and a feeling, very specific vibration. So number six, sending now. All right. Hey, Jim, what was yours? Well, it was a pumpkin at first, then it turned into <laughs> a tomato, okay. and then it turned back into a pumpkin. All right. Tomato, pumpkin, tomato. Nice. Eva? I get the set of images turning one into the other. Mm -hmm. It started yeah. with a horse to donkey to a pig, then pig to calf, and started flying, right? And then the somehow it changed into a snake and snake i realized is not a snake it's a fish so it seemed like but you know my my third eye kept working i felt pulsation in third eye uh -huh. I don't know which part of me was creating these images but it is you know i did feel something is happening 
<laughs> it sounds very familiar. When I do psychic readings, that's what happens to me. It's just exactly the feeling when you have a series of like a cartoon, yeah, a beautiful psychedelic here. cartoon and activation here. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Angie. I um, saw a banana and it grew into a boat and someone was rowing it out into a river which went out really broader into an ocean. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Christine? I saw a banana. Oh, two <laughs> bananas today. All right. I thought it was so ridiculous. So I just kept trying to read. Why would it be ridiculous? I don't know. Anyway, uh, Ale Alexis? Yes, I also saw a horse. After that was a donkey and it was funny, like a cartoon donkey. And after uh -huh. that, she transformed in a dog or something. Horse, donkey, goat, did you say? No, horse, donkey, and dog. And dog, horse, dog, and dog. Okay, Liney. Oh, I just saw a goat. That was all. <laughs> oh, guys, you're all into goats. Why is that? So, <laughs> um, um, it was. Is it everybody? It was a, a Giza pyramid. Pyramid of Giza. <laughs> Giza. Yeah, a, a lot of camels there. Yes. <laughs> they got. Right. They got the colors right. <clears throat> what is right? They got the colors right. The colors? The colors ah. of the sand, the banana and this, the pumpkin. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, I think that somebody called pyramid before, but did you? I think it was maybe one of the first guesses. Um, no, it was a cube. It was oh, it was a cube. cube. Okay, got it. Yeah. All right. Uh, ready for the next word? Uh, okay. Number seven, sending out now. All right, uh, Jim, what's yours? I first I saw a book and then it turned into a library. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Eva? <laughs> yes, I saw a big um, tall ship, very beautiful, like uh -huh. there was something down in it. And then it seems like I came very close to it and turned to a smaller boat which went into the ocean. And I started seeing an octopus. And then there was this sounds like, like, I don't know, the birds. And I think because of the birds, I saw two mermaids quarreling. Okay. This one of these birds. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You will have to then understand how what we were sending connected to what you were seeing. I mean, there is a connection. Yeah. Yeah. So, Angie? I saw a piece of cheese with holes in it, uh -huh. and there was a mouse eating it away, you know. I see. Or on its own in the dark. I yeah. see, I see. <laughs> Christine? I saw um, a car driving through the desert. I see. Alexis? <clears throat> Alexis, you are muted? Alexis? Unmuted you, Alexis? There. Oh, gosh. Oh, Go to Caroline, then. Caroline. Lainey? Hi. Um, yeah, I got some cherries. That was all. Cherries. OK. Alexis, it, are you back? Uh, is it everybody? 
Mm-hmm. Well, Alexis didn't say anything, but all right. Uh, yes, uh, I was saw a tomato something raw, uh, red. Red. Okay. Any anything else? That's all. Okay. Uh, so the 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 sending message was the serious star, serious. Oh. <laughs> I mean, there was some connection to water for sure. <laughs> Okay. okay, I'm running out of power, so I'll switch to the phone soon when I run out of power. By some reason, it should be that way, but it is. I don't know who is playing with my power, but my computer shows that it is charging and it's not. Anyway, next word is... Uh, before, we, before we move on, I, I had something that I wanted to say. Go ahead. Uh, I wanted to ask about um, if may, if maybe uh, if maybe Chris, Christine can maybe um, mute her microphone when we do the sending of telepathy. I can mute yourself, I, Christine. I, I have the correct control. You're fine. I unmute you. Okay. All right. So, uh, number eight. Number eight. Sending now. Okay, time is over. Jim, what's, what's your answer? No, that one was weird. I saw a building, but I went through the window of the building and I fixated on a telephone, an old-fashioned looking telephone. There is something which is uh, resonating with it, but very little. Like I say, 5% <laughs> success. <laughs> okay, uh, Eva? Uh, well, the first was feeling, oh my God, I'll never get it. Right. And uh-huh. after this uh, came like planet Earth, very uh-huh. beautiful image of planet Earth in space. Uh-huh. I started seeing um, this Star Trek um, plane, you know, the, the okay. UFO. Star Lucy. Trek, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, Enterprise, then, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, and then I've heard Mother Earth uh, voice saying, don't worry, you'll get it someday. All right. Angie? I uh, saw a dolphin and uh-huh. the dolphin started talking to me in its language. Yeah, in the water. Yeah. All right. That was it. Yeah. Uh, Christy? Uh, I'm hold on, I'm, I'm unmuting you. Okay, you're good now. Go ahead now. I saw a blank sheet of purple paper, and then it faded to just black. Okay. Um, Alex. Alex. Um, yes, I saw a little blue bird, then an owl, and after that a mountain, something like that. Okay. Uh, Laini, I unmuted you. Oh, um, I got uh, an image of the sun. I see. That was all. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, is it everybody? Yep. The word which we were sending was Pocahontas, a beautiful Amer- uh, American Indian girl. What? Pocahontas. A beautiful right. American Indian girl. Pocahontas. It was a okay. Pocahontas. Okay. Um, yeah, you're really tricky with that one. Why? That was really tricky. It wasn't tricky. I mean, the, the image of the girl, first it was the image of the girl, a beautiful girl. I mean, it's very specific. And then I just wanted to give it a flavor. So it, well, there was a little flavor to that. Yeah, but, like, a bo- like a boy, I'm ashamed myself. 
because I like girls, so it was easy for boys to recognize. <laughs> but uh, take it, um, take it easy. I mean, that's where we are. Take it as it is. No, 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 can, no shame. Other way around. I can see though how it's it's exercising. Right. You know, I can feel uh -huh. uh, my pineal gland like being uh -huh. like starting to pulsate in my head. But just I think that some of us are connecting to other psychic energies around yeah, us. Right. Absolutely. So we need to be more focused to the psychic energy we're trying to tune into. So mm -hmm. that's yeah. a little harder. And I think it's better if we if 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 you can try the receivers can just try to focus on one of the minds uh -huh. of the senders and uh -huh. and then just focus on that one instead of mm -hmm. just trying to receive everything. Yeah. Uh, also, one one idea. Let's try with open eyes. I will be sending yeah. you through my eyes. <laughs> and um, and also the other one. Um, I cannot see who you. Uh, Peter also is sending with the eyes. Okay, um, I will be running out of power in a minute, but you can continue anyway. So number nine, send it now. It was a, a pristine cat also, you know, it uh, lot of... Uh, can, this, can you say again the answers? I, I'm really interested, what, what did you get? Uh, do you mind repeating them? Mine was a car and then a car engine that was running. Uh -huh. Like all the pistons moving and everything. Uh -huh. That's what and, I saw. Uh, Eva? Eva? Mine was, first I saw a, a, a girl dancing hula, then a person playing guitar. Uh -huh. And it's, it felt me with a feeling like song, music. Mm -hmm. Angie? I saw a woman's but with a G-string on. <laughs> okay. Um, Christine, I unmuted you, good. <clears throat> I saw a tow truck. Or not a tow truck, a dump truck. Okay, got it. And Laini, what was it? <laughs> I saw I saw a gorilla. So I see, something? got it, got it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Alexis? Alexis? Seeing smiling kid, like a cartoon, you know? Say again? A cartoon of what? A cat smiling and dancing. Okay, got it. All right. Uh, and the, the sending message was uh, a daisy, a flower of daisy. Wow. I was wow. way off. And what it was, was interesting? Go ahead. Somebody picked up on a daisy earlier. Yeah, there was like four trees before and there was a daisy before. So it just, mm. you know, the timing, as I said, it was my experience also. You... You guess it right, but from which reality and from which time and from which moment? <laughs> yeah. Can, can I say something? Um, Go ahead. Sorry. It, it seems to be the people are relating to the answer from before, a lot of them. Oh. From to that? me. From that? The, the, um, the answer that we had before, uh -huh. like the yeah. open, open palm, there's uh -huh. a lot of people with trees, and yeah. then you picked a girl... Which and was the, the last one? Followed. Pocahontas, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just seems to relate that way. Yeah, Could to me it does. It. Yeah. So I'm sorry, but my dancing cat, uh, her name is Daisy. So come on. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, hold on, I think that's important, right? Yeah. So <laughs> you are you sure? How, do you know? Do you have a cat which is called Daisy? No, I'm just joking. Oh, it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it. Um, and uh, I lost the, the track of the... Hold on. Okay, um, I'm not sure which number we will be sending, but... Um, number 10. 
no, no, no. Number 10 has a number in it, a two digit number. And I forgot oh. what it is. Oh, I got it. Okay. Now we have the number. So we are sending you just a two digit number. Uh, sending it now. Okay, the time is over. Uh, Jim? Well, there was three different numbers that came to me. It's fine. 42 was the first one. Which one? 42. Okay. And then 62. Okay. And then 69. Okay. <laughs> okay, Angie? I had uh, 43 and then 22 come. Hold on a second. Jim, did you get 43 too? 42. Oh, you got 42, so it was 43. And then, Angie, what was yours? 43, 43. and then 22. I got it. Um, Eva? 11. And when I was seeing always the, the like double numbers, so 77, 99. Okay. Um, Christine? I saw 12 the moment you said numbers. Okay. And then, and then I saw 22. Okay. Sure, I saw 12 too. Uh, okay, uh, Laini? Oh, um, yeah, I, I saw 22 at some point, and then I saw number 14, possibly number 41 as well. I see. And Alexis? Oh, um, 43, 22, 12, and 56. It looks like these are numbers that are coming from elsewhere. You just pick up on numbers which I really dominate at that moment somewhere in the humanity and you just all no, get 43. Alexis got 43 and 22, same as what I got. Yeah, you guys got read, read each other's mind, but, but not, not what we are sending. Anyway, so the number was 49. Wow. <laughs> oh, God, 42 then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there wow. is some something, but you're kind of tuning into a different uh, reality. The first I thing I saw was 42. Right. All right, that's, that's everything. Now, I guess uh, I, I'm so... Let, let's do the other way around. Do you mind? Um, um, how about just one of you sends us to everyone? Because we don't have a way to do it uh, reverse. Eva, what do you, do you want to say? Eva? I have to go to work now. I'm so sorry. Sure, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for participation. So who wants to be sending? Give us a chance to do some guessing to, to show how bad we are. <laughs> hey, I've, I've got an idea. I've got four cards. A triangle, a square, okay. a circle, and lines. Okay. Can, can so, you show them all again? Lines. I got triangle. Mm -hmm. Square. Okay. Circle. circle. Okay. And line. So there's four. Okay. Silver B. Limited choice. Okay. Yeah. So one of four, and I'll since You'll I got them, I'll send it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, that's a that. good idea. Okay. That that at least gives us an idea of what we're looking for. Yeah. 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 That's much, easier. I actually that. That's much, much easier to do. Yeah, it's a limited choice is much easier. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's not that right. we'll guess it right. It's just easier oh. to, to, <laughs> to... I held it up a little bit then. I've got to leave it down. All right. Tell All us right. when to receive. Okay, I'm sending. 
Send you now? Yeah. All right. Okay. How do we go? All right. Don't say the answer until we all guess. Uh, yep. G Jim? <laughs> well, first I got the lines, and then I got a circle, and then it went back to the lines. So okay. go ahead. Uh, and Jim? Exact same thing. I, really? Oh, really? Really? Nice. Yes. Um, mm. My choice is triangle. Uh, Christine? Christine? Unmuted. Okay, now? Um. At first, I thought it was a circle. Then all of a sudden, a big white square. Okay. Okay. Liney. Liney now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got um triangle to begin with, and a, a definite square. Oh wow! Same with me, but I picked triangle. All right. Um, uh, Alexis. Alexis. Uh, a circle and after that the lines. Okay, is it everybody? All right. Oh, uh, well, show well, us what was answered. I have well, I I looked at the lines, but what? I was set, I I first looked at the lines. I first looked at them, but then I was sending the circle. Oh, I was wrong. Add the circle, then back to the lines. Yes. I, yeah, well, I, 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 I had a glimpse of that, so if picked up the, on that, then I think yeah. Was, yeah, I was. was <laughs> you really need like to hold it in your hands, so you're yeah. really sure what you're holding. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I was feeling a circle, but I felt that you were fluctuating with your images. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah, well, I've see. only got, I've only got one. Oh, there were more you people. There were more yeah, people. I, I didn't. Too. Yeah. Oh, I'm ready. You guessed it right, right? Yeah. Yeah. One of the things is that we are working against the whales and against the rules of the matrix. So, so you know, to to violate the the rules the, uh, which pro prohibit the uh, miracles, we really need have, need to have a valid reason. There are excuses when it's permitted, like. When you heal, when you save a life, when you work towards the ascension, when you prevent certain negative things, uh, there are exceptions. But uh, just for practice and for the record, for the show, that's much more limitation. That's, so the, that's one of the reasons we are not permitted to uh, penetrate the veil, veil that well, because we are recording and we are doing it on record. But anyway, it's a nice exercise. Oh. Hmm. Yes. Uh, it's fun. <laughs> yes, it it's is. Kind of fun. It also kind of bonds you all together, in a uh -huh. way, because you're having fun together. You know. Right. Uh, right. Exactly. Yeah. You're synchronizing. Yeah. So I, I guess last, last one last sending, and we are we are done for today. We are run out of time. Who who wants to be doing that sending? Who wants to send one? You send, Tim. Oh, okay. I'll send something. Hold on. Let me think of something. Um, is it one of the four? <laughs> is it anything or one of the four? Oh no, I'll send. No, I'll send anything. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's see if I can get. Maybe I'm a better sender than a receiver. Uh huh. Let's see. Um, let me think of something. All right, I got something. I'll send it now.
I'm not sure, but I think that was about a minute. I'll I'll call out your name. I'll go because it's different on my board. So Angie, you're first. I saw a giraffe, and then I saw salt and pepper, and then I went back to that tree, and then I saw the giraffe coming out of the tree at the top. Oh, that's a pretty that image. Very trippy. Too trippy for me. <laughs> Christine? Um, I had seen um, something that looked like it was becoming wings. And then it turned into a seagull riding the wind. Oh, wow. Hmm, interesting. All right, Peter? Um, I've got a, a yellow box, and then I got like a yellow carb, and then I went to a balloon. I saw a <laughs> balloon. Okay. Max? A tiger, then Mother Mary, and a white flag. Whoa. Oh. Okay, Liney. <laughs> I got a flower to begin with. Then um, I think there might be some kind of angelic thing in there somewhere. I'm not really sure. And then I saw a bottle with writing on it. So. Okay. Alexis? Yeah, I pick up a book and after that a car. Right. What was the last part? A car. A car. car. Yes, a ruby one, something like oh. that. Oh, okay. Oh, the red one. Okay. Yeah. Omran? Oh, it was, it was really interesting because I saw what Christine and Peter also saw. Oh. But What, what, yeah. what was that? What was that? Christine saw um, a winged creature and I saw that too. It was a black one, I think. And then Peter, uh, I also saw a, a f liquid, something yellow liquid. But I saw, I saw water first and something solid. So it was either a, something liquid or very solid, like a brick. Oh, okay. Uh, I, uh, my mother made it was white, so I'm not sure what, who was that. It was just... Uh, yeah, it looks like Mother Mary holding the baby, but it could be just white silhouette of anybody. Yes. Okay. Well, it was, it was hard to kind of kind of see what it was. Uh huh. I saw something wavy. Maybe it was blue. Maybe it was water. Something in nature. Green, maybe grass. Uh, plant life. I don't know. It was sort of wavy. It was a rainbow, and it had different colors in it. But it sort of was wavy because I was when I was thinking about it, the colors were sort of waving a little bit. So if you said wavy, that had part something to do with it. Uh, and the colors, yellow, blue, and green, all were there. Yes. Well, we were close. So yeah, I was thinking of rainbow, but. Um, so, and I was going, it was sort of a wavy rainbow. <laughs> that is why I, I could feel the kind of the blue and the ocean. Yeah. It mm. was great. Interesting. But the yellow looked like a melted cheese. <laughs> yeah, it was sort of a wavy rainbow, so. <laughs> I couldn't help it. My mind made it wavy, so. <laughs> yeah, you must just allow it, whatever comes. And yes, so I just let it happen. So, mm -hmm. all right, I think that's it for today then, because I think we are reuniting in a few minutes, Max. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I have a private session with Jim, yes. Yes. You're lucky. Uh, <laughs> I'm lucky, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for your support. Thank and, you. Uh, and I enjoyed Thanks, that. Everyone. Thank you. Hi, Chris. See you. Uh, so late. tomorrow we have um, Karen speaking for Saturday webinar. And, Karen's uh, good. I like Karen. Yeah, uh, I like next that. week I do my usual Tuesday uh, afternoon and uh, Thursday evening. Yeah. Uh, and, and then uh, uh, next uh, Friday we repeat the same thing as today, but you know with 
I want to do more channeling and more instruction. So we'll do a shorter exercise and more of other stuff. Okay. And and uh, next uh, Saturday, a uh, week from now, Jim, is it you or I don't remember? Uh, it's Saturday, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, I will be back. Okay. So okay. I will be back on the 1st of July, I think it is. Okay. Is that Wonderful. Uh, I can look it up just a second. So Saturday week from now is, yes, mm -hmm, 1st of July. All right, I will be back the 1st of July. All right. Thank you, everybody. It was fun to practice with you. <laughs> All right. And there were some guesses. Bye -bye. There were some guesses. So it was, yes. it was yes. interesting. It was fun. Yeah. It Thank was you. fun. All right. Thanks. Good to see you all. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye. Jim, I will send Bye. you a link in a second.